I want to ask you, because of your eye test, because of your frame of reference and your point of comparison, playing alongside Stevens and Niedermeyer and you playing as long as you did, when you look at Haskinen, what do you see? I see a very smooth skating defenseman that controls the tempo of a game uh, on many nights. And I, I mentioned Scott Niedermeyer. He's built in that mold. I'm not going to say he's Scott Niedermeyer yet because he's one of the best defensemen I've ever seen. I'm a little biased. I've played with him for a long time. I was his partner. But uh, their skating ability, their stride, how smooth they are, the game is just effortless. And we saw what Haskinen did during the playoffs uh, last year when Dallas went to the Stanley Cup Finals. Certainly. The prior year to this year, you know. Yes. I I'm getting the two COVID years mixed up. But having said that, he was dominant. He elevated his offensive game. Game. And regardless how many points Hayes can get, it's just about the puck is on his stick a lot. He's so smooth. And I've said it on this show many times over the last year, year and a half. I, as a 20 year old defenseman, I thought he was top 10 in the National Hockey League. So for me, I'm fine with the Dallas Stars locking up this young star for many years to come. In fact, eight years at that price. There's, And I'm tough on contracts at times. And I'm saying sometimes you give too much too quick. Well, I, pre I think it's a pretty safe bet when you lock up Amiro Heiskanen because he is that good of a defenseman. You're going to build around him on the back end for many years to come. He's 22 years old, but I love him in transition. He uses his stick extremely well defensively in his own zone, and he's a guy that you want on your team long term. In fact, for me, I think possibly, and I'm not going to say for sure because we always throw a lot of uh, superlatives out but I would think that he would be a Norris Trophy winner or at least uh, a finalist in the years to come. You're not alone in yeah. that thought. I always value the eye test because there's a lot of numbers out there and numbers can be misleading because you need a lot of context to understand them and your experience almost 1300 regular season games all those playoff runs three cups your ability to look at a player and if you mention him in the same breath, that he reminds you of a Scott Niedermeyer in terms of the ease that he plays with, that is impactful to me. And clearly, Jim Nill recognizing that, because it's got to be on both sides now. The player wanted term, the team was more than happy to give him term. Eight years, as you point out, he's still blossoming. And I think we have a tendency at times to just look at numbers, offensive stats. Well, this defenseman had 60 points, so he's better than Heiskanen. No, Scott Niedermeyer sacrificed quite a few points as a member of the New Jersey Devils. I'll even say he did as an Anaheim Duck, but he sacrificed it so that he could be that all-around defenseman playing key situations. And good defensemen, smart defensemen, uh, hockey IQ, as we like to use, and Niedermeyer had plenty of it, Haskinen has plenty of it, they adjust to the game. When they have to step up and create more offense, they do that. But they're not going to, at the expense of playing good defensive hockey, so when it's that type of tight game, they're going to be good defensively as well in their own zone, but they control the tempo with the puck on their stick a lot. And that's what I saw a lot from Niedermar when I played him. That's what I uh, what I see a lot from Miro Haskin. And so I don't always just look at, well, what did he have at the end of the year? He had eight goals and 25 assists. Well, that's not an elite defense. No, not whatsoever. We saw what he did in the playoffs with 27 oh, points, yeah. I believe, in 30-something games with the Special. Dallas Stars when they went to the Stanley Cup Finals uh, a year removed. But he just adjusts. To the game. So if it's a high scoring game or they're behind, he's going to jump into the play. He has all those capabilities uh, of doing whatever is necessary at the time. I love him as a defenseman. There's not much uh, you, you, you not to like about Miro Heiskanen. And uh, I think the Dallas Stars are pretty pleased to have him locked up. And I know that Stars fans are happy to hear how highly you think mm -hmm. of him.